time. Arlene here, welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. I'm so glad that you guys have stopped in again to see what I'm up to. Well, for those of you who follow me, you know that I just put up a video this morning to tell you about my trip to Michael's and Home Goods and that the music was copyrighted and it got removed and then I put the video up that I did this morning, the voiceover video. Regardless of all that, I went back because I couldn't stand it. I had to get that pretty green vase and I knew in my little brain that the flowers were on sale, 40% off at Michael's. And I couldn't, Jeanette, forget about that pretty plate so I went back and all told I spent about $60 for all three things. It's $25 for the vase and here's the vase and it is huge. $25 for that. And then I bought the plate, really pretty plate. And it was $3.99 and then I bought some flowers and I'm going to go ahead and try to arrange these to show you guys how it all turns out and I'm going to put them put this whole little thing I'm going to put the plate on my little wrought iron table that I have in the living room and I'm going to sit this vase beside that table so fingers crossed my vision turns out okay because I haven't carried it in there yet and I'm not going to till you guys see me do it so all right I'm gonna turn this camera around and get to just really quickly putting this together all right I'll quit yammering along I could just stand here and yap all day let me get to arranging and putting this in place be right back all right here I am I hope I have this uh, set up so that you'll be able to see me do this I'm gonna try to do it facing you this is not hard, you guys. In fact, I could probably just almost take them in a bundle and just put them in there. But for the purposes of showing you guys, I will go ahead and, and just start putting them in and arranging them. I've got two of these. And I've just got one of these. And I'm going to leave it all together. But what I'm going to do is tr kind of try to intertwine the green in with the khaki color. Just to kind of intermingle them in with the... That's about all I'll do to that. <laughs> I do have some pearls here and I'm not going to take them or cut them apart either. I don't think they're meant to be cut apart. Just set them right in the front like that. And then I've got these really pretty flowers. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be, but do you know what they mimic? They mimic the flowers that I put in my lantern decor on my dining room. They're kind of shiny like that on my dining room table. So that, so that is kind of nice and that will bring these over. I like to set and to turn it this way a little bit. I, don't want, I want them to be at varying heights. And as you guys know, I kind of work my flower arranging from left to right. And to be honest with you, I'm going to trim this one off a little bit and I'm gonna put it right down here. And then I'm gonna intermingle all of these in between so it doesn't look like goodness look out I'm a danger to the house today okay there we go just like that 
I also want to tell you while I'm doing this that my cousin Stacy and Donita, Donita is the one that I took that pretty chocolate brown and cream wreath to just a couple days ago. Just a couple days ago, and Stacy is the one that I made the all cream on cream wreath for. I'll put links. I'll put links, a link for that in the description, for both of them in the description below. Uh, they both have these big, huge vases in their house, in their homes, and I was like, why haven't I ever thought to do that, you guys? And they have inspired me really and truly to do this. So I cannot take credit for coming up with this idea. This was all my cousins. They are very talented in their own rights, both of them, in many different ways. So, but that's where I came up with this idea. So I had to give them credit. All right, let me see if I can intermingle these, fla these other flowers a little bit. So it doesn't look quite so stark with those three, although I love those three. Flowers. Notice how I get quiet when I start thinking about stuff. I, should, I need, really need to work on that, you guys. All right, that'll be about it, honestly. And I think when I get it into place, I'll tweak it and I'll come back and show it to you guys when I put it where it's gonna live. I'll be back in a few. Alrighty, I've got it in place now. I'm gonna walk out here and show it to y'all. Say hi to Joe. Hi, Sophie. Hi, sweetie. You and your little gray muzzle there. You're such a good girl. Alrighty, you guys. Here it is. Right there in that corner. I did have to tweak those big white flowers. They were staring at me. Like, here I am, big white flowers right in my face. So I turned them and tweaked them just a little bit. Another thing I didn't even realize I did was check out the dogwood flowers in that picture. And these are dogwood flowers. I don't know how I do that. Sometimes it's just by accident. And Mr. Al, fix you up there, buddy. And there's the plate. Or in that. And this is the arrangement I already had in this mercury glass vase. And the colors in that mimic the colors in the plate very nicely. So I think. I'm really liking this cozy corner. Pretty and light green and creams and khakis. I'm loving it. All right, I'm a happy girl. I did a little bit of crafting today. That always makes my day better. Alrighty, until next time, you guys take good care. Bye-bye.